and me. I'll take any those big defensive linemen any time. Any day. <laughs> One of the biggest hydroplane races of the year is coming up this Sunday in Evansville, Indiana. Unlimited hydroplane racing has the same speed and excitement as auto racing with the added dare of racing on water. Although racing on the river is picturesque for the fan, it's added danger for the driver because no turn is the same twice. One of the most successful drivers of all time is Chip Hanauer. He's the winningest active driver in unlimited racing, and he's the fastest driver in the history of his sport. And Chip joins us live now, and uh, wow, that, that's quite something that you do. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't trade, though. You talked about getting hit by defensive linebackers, and I may get hit if I tip the boat over, but you knew you were going to get hit. How did you get involved in this sport? I grew up in Seattle, and Seattle boat racing is the biggest sport going. And the kids, in fact, grow up towing little wooden hydroplanes behind their bicycles, and I grew up and got into outboard racing at the age of nine, and then continued on through the limited inboards, and then started driving on limiteds about 10 years ago. How dangerous is this sport? Well, the insurance companies in this country rate it as the second most dangerous occupation in the world, the first being being an astronaut. So uh, it's hard to get insurance. You know, in 1981, uh, you were in an accident. You broke your ribs, punctured your kidneys. You had to be put back together with stainless steel tennis. Is it tough to get back in the boat after something like that? You've got to get right back in it. It's the old adage about falling off the horse. If you want to get ever have any idea about getting back up and riding again, you've got to get right back up on that horse. So right after that accident, two days later, I was racing a Grand Prix boat. Uh, it was painful, but it was good for the psyche to get racing again. Now, a local guy here, Jim Cropfeld, was just injured seriously. Does, does that go through your mind in your next race when one of your compatriots is hurt? It makes you stop and think. You kind of reevaluate your participation in the sport. You kind of measure if you're still enjoying it, if it's worth paying the price. And to this day, it's still been worth it. And I wish Jim the best because he's one of the best drivers around. You know, one of the safety features now is they have capsules they put over the, the covers, which you raced for a while. Now you're back to the open cockpit. Right. I had an enclosed boat, which indeed is safer if the boat should get upside down. But the boat handled poorly. And I decided to go back to an old boat, even though it didn't have a canopy, because it handled better. And I thought it stood a better chance of keeping me out of trouble to begin with. A lot of people just watched the Indy 500 and saw all the money that the, the winners made there. Is there that much money in hydroplane racing? No, there's really not. Um, you know, I make a good living. I make more money doing what I'm doing now than I could be doing something else at my age. But it's nothing like tennis or golf or football. Well, I tell you what, you've got a big race coming up Sunday. You ready for it? I think so. We came off a big one in Detroit, and I think we're going to be back ready and defending our seventh Gold Cup for the Miller High Life team. So well, we'll not only good luck, but safe luck at the same Great. time. Thanks. I appreciate it. Chip, thank you for joining us. And I kind of felt bad uh, interrupting you guys. Uh, we were all upset. Uh, it's old <laughs> we homework. We went to school together. We were both Coogs, old, Washington State yeah, University. Old Seattle friends. stories. Yeah, both from Seattle. So it's great to meet a Coog in Cincinnati. We don't see too many I of bet. us. I bet. That's right. I'm sorry to butt in. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> thank you very much for joining us, and Thanks we'll be right you. back.